Good afternoon, good evening. Not too sure what time this will come out uh, with Brian Island, but uh, welcome back for the second, which should have been third instalment of Ange uh, Management. Um, we have just beaten the, I can't remember the name of the place, Lion Sailors. The Lion, Lion Sailors Sailor 11. That's uh, whatever, and I don't mean any disrespect, I just can't remember their goddamn name. Um, we've just beaten them five. One convincingly, let's face it. Johnny's decided to disappear halfway through, but he's back. Um, but yeah, so uh, we are going to discuss all things this second pre season match, which was a resounding 5 1 win. Johnny, how are you, my friend? I'm all right, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still like reeling from, from last night's news, obviously, yeah. like, gone from like late night up till three four o'clock in the morning then straight in nine o'clock this morning for for uh for yours and then straight into the 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 game and then on to the spaces talking and listening um listen we have to be positive okay everyone calm down okay just because i just because we mentioned that a player played well and the player didn't play well. We know that it's a poor team and we know that they have to prove themselves against proper opposition. We're all aware of that, but our job is to comment, right, on these yep. events, OK? So please take it as such. We all know that the sailors weren't all that and, um, and it was a bit feisty, but, you know... It's, it's, we're trying to take positives from uh, the, the last 24 hours. Exactly. So what I will say as well, Johnny, just before we get into this, is uh, you say in nine o'clock, spaces, back on here, welcome to the world of streaming, my friends. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it, it's yeah. uh, especially when big news happens. And obviously what we're going to do in this one, we are going to be talking football. There's yeah. not going to be talk. This is a stream and your management is talking about the footballing aspect. Will I say there might be a couple of uh, references when we talk about our defence? No, I'm, uh, the jury's out. The jury's out. Let's, the let's jury's have the first little joke. Let's have the first joke no there. No puns but... intended, yeah. <laughs> None whatsoever, man. I don't know what you mean. Um, but let's start with this, Johnny. You'll go first with this one. Negatives. What negatives did you see or do you think we can take to work on from this game? Uh, the negatives were um, Eric Dyer with the captain's armband. Rather disturbing for me after yesterday's comments about Davis being a great player. I'm waiting for the, uh, hopefully not to hear those immortal words that uh, Eric Dyer could be world-class. Then I know that, he's, that it's been lost. Um, I thought we moved the ball very slowly in the first half. Um, it's the second time, Johnny, isn't it? The second game where we've we've done that. For Leicester, we were very slow in the first half. Yeah, and, and uh, Kane... Kane was dropping deep um, and crowding out that middle of the park. Um, defensively, it was all there for everyone to see in that first half again um, without going into names. Um, I just thought the tempo was poor um, and the opposition was poor. Uh, the weather was good. We had a nice roof on. But um, other than that, um, without going into names, I, I would say the tempo... Him being the captain, um, <clears throat> and defensively, we are still a nightmare and it needs to be addressed as soon as possible. Um, we didn't utilise the flanks as well as we should have done. The left-hand side uh, with Sonny, nothing really came from that. Kulu got a lot of the ball, um, but no end product. You're you're right. You're right. Um, so yeah, I I think when we look at it, um, you mentioned. I mean, I, I, we, we are going to talk about him in special mention. I I I'm concerned about Kulusevski. I'm concerned about Kulusevski, but we're going to get into that. Um, the defense. Listen, I, I I start referencing. I think I, I think I mentioned it just now. We are Tottenham TV, where I mentioned you're from midfield up. We're golden. Um, what we but say. It, is a, it is a pantomime and uh, it's behind you. Um, it's really, 
<laughs> really, really, really. I have been crediting you. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a big, big issue. And I, I don't think I can say any more. Like I said, the first, to what you said, the, the the movement of passing in the first half is 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 not good, not good. But Joe, you know let's roll that into the net, uh, first positive because the first positive I'm going to use, and I'll let you go. Yeah. Is that and all right? It's the second half. It's a different team. But we've seen from his Celtic videos when he has said, stop passing back, stop passing back. I think his team talks are having impacts with being quicker on the ball, more direct, more more or more aggressive. Um, but People again, wanted the ball. People seem to want the ball. I mean, yeah. uh, Gio was demanding the ball um, down the left-hand side. The link-up play was very good on that left-hand side. Um uh, Solomon on that right when he got the opportunity. He didn't get anywhere near the opportunities that Kulu got in the first half, but he still <clears throat> he still uh, made some good efforts. Um, we we just looked a lot better in that uh, in that first half. But the passing and the system seemed to be more adhered to in that first half. You had Richie working off the shoulder, and he wasn't yeah. dropping deep. Okay. He was pressing on that line, which gave a lot more space, as in the West Ham game, for uh, for Gio and others to 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 run into. Um, and I thought we looked more solid both at left back and at right back, which we'll go into individually uh, with the players. Yes, and we, it wasn't we, raining. We, yeah, I mean, I mean that, that was a huge positive. Thank God for roofs. Thank God for roofs. Um, yeah, let's, let's face it, that second half, um, and obviously the positive, a player you're going to, I know you're going to speak about, is a certain person that's been dying for goals. Again, listen, people, before you go, oh, it was this team. Blah, blah. If a player, if there's a player that needed confidence going into this season, it would have been Richie. And yeah. it doesn't matter what happens for a striker, scoring goals is scoring goals. Um, and that, that, that would be huge. And, uh, Yes, yeah, so the positives that the, the the I can't really uh, agree with you more. Do you know what? I think a lot of this uh, episode, yeah, we're going to be talking about special mentions. So do you know yeah. what? Should we go negatives, positives, or positives, negatives? No, I just I think uh, I, okay. Um, look, I don't have an agenda. I thought. For so the your first, first pick, I'll... your first pick is Poro. I'm going to go Poro. Um, okay. As a winger, I think he's deadly, right? And I think he offers more going forward than uh, than Kulu on that right-hand side with Emerson tucked behind him. But time and time again, he gets caught behind himself. Um, he's not a defender, in my opinion, right? I think that ball he can whip in from that right-hand side, free kicks. It was a lovely ball he, and he put in for Son, which Son was a little bit late reading. Uh, which could have been a great goal. I think he offers so much. But as a defender, I'm sorry. Uh, There's too many mistakes. We saw it uh, when he was playing for Spain against Scotland. We saw it against Leicester. We saw it against Newcastle. Um, you know, why take the risk? Um, I, I, I think our best setup. I didn't even see any overlap runs a lot of overlaps between Kulu and uh, Porro, to be truthful with you. Um, I would really like to see Porro as a right winger. Really, that's his that's his position for me. Well, Johnny, that, that, that's something uh, you and I have agreed with from get-go. From yep. get-go. I, I, I honestly think Porro has offered more in the last few games of last season going forward on the wing than Kulu did the entire second half of the season Good. and how he started this preseason. And I think he needs to be serious. We need to abandon this. OK, he can play right wing, uh, right back. Yeah. And he'd say, right, Kulu, Poro, you're fighting this out. This position is up for grabs. You two are fighting for the shirt. Because like you said, I mean, Leicester was atrocious. He, he, he was a deer coin in, a, 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 in the headlights. It was a shocking performance. And again, he, he flattered to deceive in um, in defence. And now that you've mentioned him, I, I'm going to go, we'll, we'll continue this on the right back, um, on the right wing. I, I'm concerned about Kulisevsky. 
I, I am concerned. I think it could be he's recovering from his injury. It could be he's being found out. It could be he needs a break or he just thinks he can get in there because there's no competition when there is. If we were starting Brentford tomorrow, I'd have Porro out right wing and Kulisevsky on the bench. Some of, listen, Kulisevsky did a couple of nice things. There was a couple of incredible first touches and a couple of great knockoffs. But when Kulu came in and set the standard as high as he did in that second half of his first season, that's the player we've got. That's the player that he's capable of. And we're just not seeing it recently, are we? I, listen, I, I, I do think that uh, there are a couple of people who are football people who have said straight from the off um, that he wouldn't make it in his second season. His second season, he'd be found out. And I thought that was a bit harsh, although he looked very one-footed in that first season. He, he did a lot of positives. But they, I'm, I'm afraid, have been proved right. I never thought, I've got to be honest with you, with Ange, who likes to play with his wingers, hugging that touchline, I don't think that's Kulu and I don't think that's Son. I don't think it's that position. I think Kulu, we might find Kulu in a different position as the season progresses because he's looking at them. But he was in so many times, he was in a great position to whip that ball in. And he didn't utilise that possession. He, he touched that ball, I think, more than anyone on that flank. A lot more than Sonny did. He just didn't use it. He had one, one nice shot, um, which the keeper saved well. But as you say, he's got a lovely touch when the ball's coming over. Lovely touch. Um, he set up a, uh, an effort for uh, Papa. But on the whole, I don't think it was impressive today. He was slowing the game down. He wants quick passing. And I didn't see a lot of that. And even his, his take-ons weren't great. Yep, yep. I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't really want to go into the defence because we can talk about it for hours for the defence. It's pretty obvious. People are saying what are people think in a Sun's performance. Now, for me, with Sun, it weren't his best. It weren't his best. But I think he's going to come good. I, I, I do. Um, but, but the good thing, again, this time we've got a manager that I don't think he's going to play people on names. I don't think it's going to be like that. And now you, you've got a Solomon who we can talk about later, and a Perisic, who we're definitely going to talk about later when we start talking about the good ones. There's competition there. And if Sun's not up to it or isn't doing it, I've got a feeling we could be seeing a bit more a bit, bit more of one of the two people I mentioned because it hasn't, he hasn't raised a sharp, has he? No. Uh, he just, look, we're not saying he's not a good player. It's just... I don't think that position suits him. If you're hugging that touchline and you're very one-footed, it's not difficult to keep you on your wrong foot and make it difficult for you to get past him. That's all we're saying. You know, you have to take your game. I think he'll. I think he'd be better moving him inside. I'm not sure where, but for me, Porro with Romero behind, uh, with um, Emerson behind him, is far more dangerous and much more stable for Porro to express himself down that flank and attack. And I think he, you know, he will do a lot of damage. Kulu, jury's out for me. Uh, it's early doors. It's only the beginning of the season. So let's wait and see. But on the first two games, I can't get excited. Are we going, are we going positives now? Are we let's, to let, let's go positives. Um, Papa Sar for me. Oh, you've, you've taken my one. You've taken... Sorry, man. Go on. No, go on. You go. You go. I mean, I love it. I, I absolutely love this kid, right? I know I keep saying he's like a young Patrick Vieira, but I, I just, I, I just love the way he plays. I really do. I mean, there was one. That, that, first of all, um, some of the, some of the tackling. There was the ball that came up into the, into the corner there where he won the ball back. He looked up and he played a ball all the way down the line for Kulu to run onto, and had acres of space. Then there was the uh, the effort where Keynes headed the ball back from inside the box backwards and Papa's taken it on his chest, controlled it yep. and tried to and he volleyed it with the outside of his right foot and it dipped and it just clipped the top of the, the crossbar. 20 years of age, passing the ball about like he's... I, I thought he was outstanding in that first half, right? For me, 
he's light years ahead of Skip already. Um, I, I just think he's the limit. I don't know where he's. I don't know where his ceiling is. I really don't. He's got it all for me. He's well, got it I, all. I, I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, mate. I, I'm going to go a little bit further. I think right now, when it comes to Ange picking his midfield, for me, he's number one. He 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 has just shown such a maturity. He is growing with confidence with every single game. I mean, you tweeted that there was rumours a couple of weeks ago that they're looking to send him out on loan. That just simply ain't happening. That 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 was just simple. Let's, let's just throw a story in the air. Yeah. He is just his his eye for a pass, a quick a quick inside pass, whether it be a a, a quick short one or a mid range, is, is phenomenal. His athleticism, obviously, is him that got the penalty with yeah. uh, I was going to mention uh, that, yeah, going forward. Um, he is grabbing his opportunity. Well, like we spoke on Wax Lyrical after the land game, and a lot of people couldn't believe how this man isn't getting more game time. Well, for me. He's a, he's a he, he's a starter against Brentford. He and is how an Conte reward him. Listen, I look. You know as well as I do that Conte wanted to try and get rid of him when he came back from the World Cup. He tried to impress by not even having a holiday after playing in the Senegal game for against yep. England. Came straight back. Wanted to impress the boss. Boss said no. He comes in against Milan. Absolutely smashes it. What happens? Gets dropped. Don't see him for. And and then he gets thrown in in the Arsenal game. And who does he bring off? And it was like he was a scapegoat. Everyone started blaming him because he was the first person bought off. He is showing maturity above his years. I know Ange, from what I've been told by people who have been out there, that Ange has been giving him quite a hard time. Um, I didn't mention this on the other stream, but yeah, he's been giving him a, quite a bollocking um, <laughs> a few times. And I think that's for his own good, um, to make him understand about discipline. I think there are other players on that pitch today that needed to understand how quickly they needed to move that ball. He was not one of them. Yep. Well, do you know what? I, like we said, we spoke about him. You took my one. I'm going to take your one. Rich Arlison. Rich Arlison had had a, a, a lot of slack. And, and some of it, Rightly so, for, for performances and missing chances. Um, but you can only come on as a striker and try and influence the game and score goals. Um, getting a hat trick, I mean, the second one where he missed the original header, and it was a defensive mix up. I, I, I'm going to say that was him doing a, 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 a Brazilian dummy. He anticipated that the defence was going to be a shambles and then uh, went, went in for the header. He had, three, he, he had a couple of offside. Again, it's a problem with him being offside. He, he's got to work on that. That's one thing he's definitely got to work on. But pre-season, no matter who you're playing against, to come on, get a hat-trick, do your confidence, the world of good. What more can you say? I'll tell you one thing. The offside law changes this season, right? Yep. And in Angie's system, get used to people being offside because... They are running the risk. If you ever watch Kygo played for Celtic, he was also always making those runs. He was offside a lot, okay? But it's the relentless running on that on that line, trying to break those lines. There's an advantage to the attacker this season um, with the body, and I think Richie is going to uh, is if he's given a chance. If he's given a chance, if Kane leaves. I think we're going to see the rewards. I really do. Um, in that first game, Kane did nothing in that first half. In the second half, all I got was Richie was no good. Richie was this. Richie was that. Uh, Richie hit the bar, or hit the post, should I say, in the first game against West Ham. But what he was doing, he was driving against the defence and taking one or two defenders with him every time he's making the runs, which was leaving pockets of space for La Celso and Divine. Uh, and others to uh, to exploit. And today was very much the same. Uh, Lo Celso drove into those spaces and was pulling the ball left and right. Yeah. Richie scored three, had two disallowed, but you could see the hunger was there. And look at his face and look at the support of the, the players when he scored his first goal. Yeah. Right? The whole team more or less came to him. And when he scored his third, 
is great. Let me tell you something. And on fire Richarlison, the fans will love, right? What we've missed is players playing with passion, okay? Why is it that Everton fans absolutely love them, right? And the Watford fans and the Brazilian fans, because he plays with his heart and he plays with passion. And once those goals start, start going in, please God, right? Yep. The vicious, nasty abuse that Spurs fans seem to be dishing out to anyone who doesn't perform for five minutes will uh, dissipate. And uh, I, I hope he has a great season because today was a, a sign that with the right uh, midfielders there creating for him, I think he's going to have, a, I, I do think he'll have a great season. I really do. There we go. So, uh, that was us talking about Richardson. So, uh, your one. Um, who can I say? Um, you know who you're going to say. I'm going to say. Who am I going to say? You're Argentinian. Yours and James. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I've got to be careful here, right? So, listen, I've been going on about the Celso. Even before the World Cup, right? Um, because I knew he was going to go. And I was gutted that he'd gone to Villarreal and then he got injured, right? Because I thought, what a great masterstroke by Paratici to actually say, you know what? Um, we got a claw back because he's going to go to the World Cup. He's going to star in the World Cup and basically we're about to sell him for a lot of money. And Alexi McAllister stepped in in his place and, you know, became the, the player. But he wouldn't have been playing, ask Messi, because Messi talks about Gio in glowing terms. Uh, along with a lot of the other members of the team. Um, he was outstanding in the first game, pulled all the strings, scored the goal, uh, scored a goal. Today, he controlled the tempo, scored the goal, slipping players in, slipping players in, Perisic on the left, Reggion linking up well with Reggion, linking up with Richie. Yes, I know they were playing a bunch of sailors. Yes, it was very poor opposition. What do you want us to say? Right, we're analysing the game, right? So when you tell me shut up, right? It was only a rubbish team. We understand it's a rubbish team, but we're we're talking about what went on. Everyone played in that team, right? Some shone and others didn't. So that's why we're talking about Geo potentially could be an actually better fit for Spurs and Hedge in this system than Madison. But if we could find a way to play the two of them, I don't think it's possible, but if you can find a way to have the two of them playing and have a beast like a Lavia or someone like that sat behind them, wow, 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 wow. We were frightened the living daylights out of people. He's got it yeah. all so calm on the ball. Some of the touches, the, the little flicks, honestly, I'm, I'm excited. And, of course, he scored again. Yep, there's that. And we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll have my little say before we move on to the man himself, Mr Postacoglu. Um, yeah, I was saying on We Are Tottenham TV, do you know what? All this man can come and do after playing with defensive managers recently is come on and grab the opportunity yeah. and say, this is what I'm capable of. This is what I can do. Correct. Uh, I, and do you know what? He's come on, had two games, scored two goals, been heavily involved in a lot of stuff in the second half. And I said, do you know what? And I, I, I only say this because of, I think he's at least given himself the... You're not going on loan. You're staying till January. Because we've got to remember, this could be could be flash in the pan and pre-season and then starts. Do I think it is? Yeah. No. Do I think he's given himself the opportunity to show what he can do till January? And if he goes back to reverse back to tight, we we decide then? Most certainly. Most certainly. The problem I, I we think... have, Brian, the problem we have, um, Gio's had offers from, top, I'm not going to say which teams, right? Yeah. He's had... He's had offers from top teams in Italy and in Spain, right? Uh, we know some of them. Some of them have been uh, announced. There are others that haven't been. And um, I, I do worry, does he want to sit on our bench when he can play Champions League football and actually start? Because the people that are asking him to come um, are Champions League uh, players, this uh, teams this season where they want him to actually be starting uh, creative midfielder. So that is a question. Can uh, 
can Ange convince him to stay that he's going to be an integral part of this uh, this team? That's my question. There we go. There we go. So, right, let's get on to the man himself. I'm going to let you go first, mate. Mr. Supercalifragilistic, Angie Poster Coglu. <laughs> if you say it loud enough, he, um, I feel sorry for Ange. I can't pretend. Oh, dear. He's flown all the way around the world. He's, he's, he's now had, his players have now had 90 minutes of football. Some have had 45, some have had nothing. Um, is he any of the wiser? Maybe. Um, he's had to deal with the uh, Kane scenario, which I think is, is, is a joke. He hasn't had his centre-backs. He must be worried. There's no way that he's looking at that thinking, I'm really happy. Whatever he says in the press, I don't believe a word of it. And then his owner gets locked up, banged up abroad. <laughs> um, and, you know, he must be wondering, is this what happens to every manager? Now where I'm beginning to understand. Um, he wasn't my choice in any shape, way or form. You know, it wasn't even my top 10. I'm really warm to him. I really like the progressive football. After all these years of watching that, absolutely, it, it was horrific. It, it was like, yep. it was like pain. It was like watching the worst play ever that you just can't wait, checking your watch to see when it was finished. Um, I just want to give him a chance. I want to give him a chance. Levy, give him a chance. Give him the defenders that he needs, right? Don't yep. handicap him. Don't do what you're doing to him. Don't destroy the guy before he's even had a chance. Uh, there's no way he's watching that game, especially for that first goal, that Davis pass. Um, Doji, who allowed the cross, and Porro's shocking defending. I've got to say, the keeper nearly made an incredible save, right, with his octopus arms. I think Ange, I, I, I haven't heard his presser yet, Um but I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll talk positively. I just hope that he doesn't turn into a Levy puppet and he speaks the truth. I like his honesty uh, when he said about the goals conceded in the first game, that they were his fault because they worked on the free kicks, the set pieces. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for Ange giving him time and uh, hopefully he'll get the tools to enable him to have a chance of doing the job. Couldn't agree with you more, my friend. I'm going to be very, very quick. With that. I, I'm just enjoying what he's doing. I'm enjoying the positive football. I think that's now what? I think we had 27 attempts on goal. That's 57. Or no, we had 32. That's 59 attempts on goal. Um, in in two ga <laughs> in two games which I think is uh, more, I said, two months last time. I'm going to go probably about half a season now we've had in two games chance-wise. I love how, yes, it's been different teams, but you can see he's, his half-time his, uh, half team talks, he, he'll get about them. You can see, like I said, with Celtic, when he's screaming, stop passing back. He really is. An, he's having an influence on the bench, but it's not the... But like you said, people were what, seeing Conte parade up and down the ground like that. And it was like, Micromanaging. This is a a more come on. Let's get at him. Let's 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 do this. Um, I love him listening to his press conferences. Obviously, we haven't heard the yeah. uh, post. I'd like to hear Ange Cam. We haven't had we haven't had Ange Cam yet. Now, um, I wonder. I, I thought we might have a bit of Ange Cam uh, because we've seen we've seen it at Celtic, right? Or maybe they think it's maybe Premier League not, worthy. Maybe, yes. Maybe they don't have to. Do, uh, with no disrespect, they might not have the technology and the cameras to like literally just stay with him. Oh, believe I, I, me, I, in Singapore. Believe me, in Singapore, they have the that's technology. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying about the standard of football we were playing against. It wasn't exactly the Singapore Premier no. League, was it? No. Um, so we see. But yeah, listen, Johnny, we've come to the end of uh, the second edition of Anger Managers. The next game, Shakhtar, isn't it? So we'll be back for Shakhtar. I, I think that will be a proper listen. Yeah, the, the next two games are, you know, the, the games we desperately need. I really would like us to slip in another another game against somebody. Yep. Um, 
not a Cambridge United or, or someone like that, someone half decent. Um, because I, I feel that we are probably two games behind everybody else right now. Most teams have had four games now. Um, I think we're going to need one. So, so there you go, Johnny. Listen, I know you've got much. But first of all, thank you for joining me for 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 two instalments in a day. Um, we'll, we'll be back regularly, but um, I know you've got better with that finger. So tell people where uh, they can find. Hey, look at him go. Look, look at, at him go. Look at that. I, I, rhythm. I've got the. I've got it all to a pop now. Can uh, come and join me uh, on the Twitter, Johnny H thirty two thirty two. Give me a follow and. Um, Come and join us on the spaces. Everyone's welcome. Um, we had a long one last night uh, about Uncle Joe. Um, Uncle Joe is innocent. And before you think, please don't try and tie yourself to the Bill Nicholson Gates saying Uncle Joe is innocent because the Bill Nicholson Gates aren't there yet. OK, they will be. Um, yeah, come and give us, uh, come and join the space. Give me a follow and you're welcome to come and chat as Brian and a lot of uh, people in this room do. And thanks Most for certainly. No worries. Listen, guys, thank you for joining. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, Levy, out. Thanks. There we go, Johnny. He's Done. definitely punching, isn't he, Dyer? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Well, listen, as soon as I've got the link and everything, it's going to be the same uh, yeah. at, uh, thumbnail. It will just be a different link, so I'll send it to you I'm as soon as I've got knackered. it. You'll send that tonight, today? Um, I'll speak to Ireland and tell him and see when he's doing it. Yeah, it'd be good if he do it today because then it goes current. By tomorrow, it's like... Well, no, we did it the next day, the, the, the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. So, just how did the uh, how did this morning's tweet? Uh, so okay. we are now on. Let's have a look. Um, knackered. Let's have a look. Uh, top one tour. Uh, it's at one point. It's only been going six hours. One point seven thousand views. We've gained thirty subscribers. Oh, Two hundred and forty nine likes. Just doing good. It's doing um, good because after we went, a couple of other people went live, so they would have gone there. Then they would have watched the match. Yeah. So they'll, 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 that'll pick up to three, 4,000. Could you do me a favour? Could you? Of course. Because I can't, I can't message um, Alan because my yep. PM are blocked. Could you message him and tell him I'm free? And can he send the link via... Um... One second. I'll do it right now. Alan, Johnny can Johnny can join your stream. Free, mate. Send the link go. for sending by WhatsApp. Okay, he's got it. I've got it. Okay. Okay. Listen, Johnny, I've got to go to my sister. I just quickly need to no speak to my sister. We'll see you later. Buddy. All right. Bye bye. bye, -bye.